Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Anthony here. I've got my morning espresso. It's Monday. Let's talk about XRP. Stick around. Good morning everyone, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. It is Monday morning, I have my morning espresso. Oh, that's fantastic. Just after 9.30 in the morning here and that's the weekend everywhere else in the world. So uh, I hope you're all enjoying your Sunday. Uh, so just before I get into the video, thank you every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. It really means a lot to me. I love documenting my videos, um, uh, showing you know my investing progress and what I'm doing. Um, it's been incredible uh, so far. Thank you all of you who have subscribed to the channel. And uh, if you're new, please make sure you like the video and subscribe. Turn on that little bell notification as I love documenting my journey with investing, be it through cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, passive income, business ideas, all kinds of cool stuff and uh, sharing that with all of you. So maybe you can learn something that you may or may not have known or vice versa, I can learn from you. So I love building this community and it is sitting around 6,000 plus people. So thank you very much, that's incredible. Uh, there's a little community tab up here where I love posting up here and um, you know talking with all of you about what you guys are doing and what I'm doing. So have a look at that as well. Um, so just a little disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research with any of this stuff because it is extremely risky. I do these videos for fun uh, and uh, for educational purposes only. So please, please, please do your own research and due diligence with all of this stuff because it is extremely volatile and risky. You can use websites like Masari.io, use YouTube, use the app Medium, which is great for blogs and you can read up about crypto projects and stuff like that. Use uh, Luna Crush, which is a great site to actually um, look up the social status of a particular project uh, project uh what else is there there's twitter there's google there's all kinds of stuff out there so you can do your own due diligence plenty of platforms to learn and get educated and once you are you can make your own decision and uh you know invest from there let's get into today's video and uh just before i get into that i just want to show you what is happening in the markets at the moment everything is virtually on sale and it's unbelievable um, i took that opportunity to invest into a couple of projects mainly uh, xrp and vet were the ones that i bought into so xrp today is sitting at a dollar and six cents this has been over two dollars for quite some time and uh, obviously I invested in around that time, which is annoying and I didn't realize the crash was coming, but it has been here, it has come, and uh, I'm not fretting at all, I'm not stressing, I'm taking this as an opportunity uh, to buy things at half price. Uh, but obviously, please be careful, do your own research with this stuff before you invest any money into these projects. Um, XRP is one project that I'm fascinated with, and there's a reason why. Um, it truly can revolutionize the way that the banking industry actually transacts money around the world by removing the old system, which was SWIFT. Now, if, for those of you who don't know what SWIFT is, it's the only way you can send international or money internationally um, to, say, a friend or family or business associate or whatever it may be, um, international uh, through whatever bank you, you actually deal with. So it takes like three to four days, if not five days for that money to get um, overseas to that other bank. It has to go to SWIFT. SWIFT ha then have to find the next path to that bank. Um, then the money transacts uh, through that path through SWIFT. Now, what XRP is planning to do is remove that and use XRP as a form of transaction between banks. Now, if I know uh, anything to do with banking and financial institutions, when stuff like this happens, it can seriously revolutionize the way that banking is done. Uh, it's going to be much faster, it's going to be much quicker, and uh, it's going to change the way banking is done international on a global scale by using the XRP coin as that form of currency between banks. Now that is unbelievable. So let's just get into today. Um, I'm going to show you, there's a Forbes article here, Meet Ripple XRP Cryptocurrency for Banks. So in Australia, uh, we have the ability to buy um, XRP through CoinSpot, which is the app that I use and the exchange that I use here in Australia to buy XRP. Um, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure it's been uh, removed off a huge number of um, exchanges, including Binance as well, that it's actually not available to purchase. So I'm not sure why we're, we're the lucky ones here, but I did manage to purchase more of XRP as well as buy the dip. So let's get into what it is. So 
Ripple is a money transfer network designed to serve the needs of financial services industry. That's huge. XRP, a cryptocurrency tailored to work on the Ripple network, is consistently listed among the top five cryptocurrencies by market capitalization, which is true. If you go to here, one, two, three, four, five. Obviously, BNB is above it, Dogecoin, which is unbelievable, uh, Cardano, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. So this is in the top five cryptocurrencies. Oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, top six. So, uh, despite its ambitions, Ripple is currently tied up in legal troubles with the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC. Although that's hardly prevented XRP from surging in value with other crypto cryptos, which is very true. There is a court case going on at the moment. We'll get into that in a second. So, what is Ripple? Ripple uh, is a payments settlement system and currency exchange network that can process transactions around the world. The idea is that Ripple serves as a trusted agent between two parties in a transaction as it, the network can quickly confirm that the exchange went through properly. Ripple can facilitate exchanges for a variety of fiat currencies being cash, um, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and even commodities like gold, which is unbelievable. Ripple was designed from the very beginning to essentially be a replacement for SWIFT. That is unbelievable because I'm, I'm sick of SWIFT. It's an really annoying. It's, it takes too long and it's so slow. A lending money transfer network or to otherwise replace this settlement layer between major financial institutions, says Pat White, CEO of Bitwave. Whatever users uh, make, tr uh, whenever users make a transaction using the network, the network deducts a small amount of XRP, a cryptocurrency, as a fee. The standard fee to conduct transactions on the Ripple, uh, on Ripple, sorry, is set to be 0.00001 XRP, which is virtually nothing. XRP, which is a uh, minimal compared to large fees charged by banks for conducting cross-border payments, says uh, Al Lee, board member of OnChain Custodian. As of late April 2021, the XRP P price was a dollar 38 per token, meaning the transaction fee works out to be just. 0.0000138. What is XRP? XRP is a cryptocurrency that runs on the XRP ledger, a blockchain engineered by Jed McCaleb, Arthur Burrito, and David Schwartz. McCaleb and Burrito uh, would go on to uh, go on to found Ripple and use XRP to facilitate transactions on the network. You can buy XRP on uh, as an investment as a coin to exchange from uh, for other cryptocurrencies or as a way of finance transactions on the Ripple network. Notably, XRP's blockchain operates little differently from most other cryptos. Other cryptos uh, currencies open their transaction ledgers and verification processes to anyone who can solve complex equations quickly, but transactions are secure as a majority of ledger holders must agree with the verification for them to be added. Instead, the XRP's Ripple network somewhat centralizes things while anyone can download its validation software, it maintains what it calls unique node lists that users can select to verify their transactions based on which participants they think are least likely to defraud them. It is a default list of cur currently contains 35 trusted validators. Ripple decides which validators to approve for the list and also makes up six of these validation nodes. However, users can opt out of this default list and hypothetically remove Ripple-backed validators from their transactions entirely instead of constructing their own list of trusted validators. This would allow the network to continue, continue to approve transactions even without Ripple, the company remaining involved or even continue to exist. How to mine XRP, let's go to this. Mining is uh, is the distributed verification system used by the blockchain-based cryptocurrencies. In bo uh, it both facilitates transactions and provides the mechanism by which, the, uh, which new currency is introduced into the cryptocurrency system. Typically as a reward uh, to verifiers for the network supporting network, sorry, Typically, as a reward to verifiers for the for their net for their work supporting the network, for example, Bitcoin has a total supply limit of 21 million tokens that are steadily released as more and more transactions are verified. XRP, in contrast, was pre-mined, meaning XRP Ledger created 100 billion tokens that are then periodically released publicly. Ripple owns about 6%. Ripple is the company that established XRP, by the way, and I'll, show, I'll get into that in a second. 6% uh, of that as an incentive for it to help the cryptocurrency grow and be successful over time. Another approximately 48% are held in reserve for regular release into the market through sales. 
Understandably, this has led to concerns that a lot of XRP could be released at once, diluting the value of other XRP already in circulation because, of, uh, because part of what gives any currency its value is comparative scarcity. The company has tried to reduce the uncertainty by implementing several mechanisms, trust, predictable release, etc., says Tim uh, Enneking, principal of digital uh, capital management. That mining versus pre-mining uh, di distinction may also be a reason for its conflict with the SEC and, its, and the SEC may think of XRP as less of a currency, more of a security, like the stock that is governed by a different stricter, regulation, stricter regulations. So ripple advantages, let's have a look at that. Fast settlement transactions confirmations are incredibly fast. They generally take four to five seconds, which is unbelievable as opposed to days. Compared to days, uh, it may take for banks to complete wire transfer in minutes or potentially hours it takes for Bitcoin transactions to be verified. Very low fees. The cost to complete transaction on the Ripple network is X, whatever it is there, a small fraction of the penny uh, of a penny at current rates. Versatile exchange network. The Ripple network not only processes transactions using XRP, but it can also be used for first uh, for other fiat currencies, cryptocurrencies, and commodities, which is unbelievable. Used by large financial institutions, large enterprises can also use Ripple as transaction platform. Santander, which is a huge bank in, in Europe, Access Bank and Yes Bank are a few using the network, demonstrating it it's, uh, is already has larger institutional market adoption than other most cryptocurrencies, which is unbelievable. So this is, this is what I'm saying. It's going to change the way institutional banking is done. So let's have a look here. Highly centralized, which is annoying because the whole purpose of cryptocurrencies is to be decentralized and uncontrolled by governments and big corporations. So highly centralized. One of the reasons that cryptocurrencies became popular is that they were decentralized, taking control away from large banks, governments. The Ripple system is centralized and goes against this philosophy, which is true. Ripple Labs controls the XRP supply. Ripple Labs decides when to release coins, giving it control versus other cryptos. Uh, where coins are slowly, steadily released uh, by mining. This means Ripple Labs has more power influence the to the value of XRP by deciding when and how many tokens are to be released. Recent SEC, uh, SEC action against XRP. In 2020, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple saying that since it can decide when to release XRP, the company should have registered as its uh, a security, like a stock or a, a you know like a when you're buying a stock, it's it has to be registered because it is a form of security. It is you know they're selling and releasing the shares of the company. Uh, until this gets resolved, it could slow down the institutional use of the system. Several exchanges have also stopped listing XRP as a result, such as Coinbase, which is the huge platform everyone uses to buy cryptocurrencies. So I'm not going to get into further, should you buy XRP, blah, blah, blah. So let's have a look today. I want to have a look at the news, right? And, I, and we'll just quickly go to, uh, let's start off here. Uh, let's go here. So I came across this article, SEC versus Ripple could end in summary judgment on a fair notice. No one, uh, no one could be sued after that. Okay, so the SEC uh, versus Ripple case on Friday, which was last Friday, had a hearing. Uh, the SEC's motion to pierce the attorney-client privilege of Ripple by, and its lawyers. The regulator wants Ripple Labs to, to turn over documents related to legal advice it received in 2012 prior to its sale of the token, uh, whether XRP firm was legally required uh, to be registered with the SEC. While Ripple Labs fights off uh, that request arguing for attorney-client privilege, the SEC claims that legal advice could be proof that the firm reasonably understood the nature of XRP. If not subject to federal securities law, then the company waived the, uh, any privilege over the, the, those com communications. SEC journey attorney George G. Tenorio, sorry if I'm pronouncing that uh, incorrectly, said Ripple's lawyers knew that the law required and that it could be uh, a security. Their lawyers knew from the very beginning and to na uh, now come to and say to court nobody knew and leave us uh, unable to rebut uh, that sh by showing uh, all of the advice that they got, not just what they selectively disclosed to third parties, is fundamentally unfair and fundamentally against the fairness principle as recognised in this circuit. It was late April that the SEC filed a motion to dismiss Ripple's lack of due process and fair notice defence that XRP token could be deemed a security. Ripple then filed a memorandum of law in opposition to the SEC's motion to strike Ripple's lack of due process and fair notice affirmative defence. The defendant pointed that the SEC's misrepresentations of judge and omissions. During the hearing, it seems that SEC's uh, George Tarrant 
Tenrerio said that Ripple Law uh, Labs wants uh, to push for a summary judgment on its lack of due process and fair notice affirmative defense. Okay, there's a whole heap of information in. I'll link this article down below. I'm not going to go into it because it's really long. But there's obviously this case that's going on with the SEC and uh, XRP at the moment and Ripple, sorry. Um, and uh, there's been a lot of arguments throwing back and forth, which I'm reading in this. And I'm, forgive me, I'm still learning about everything that's going on in this case because you have to get familiar with law. And uh, let's just have a look here. So without, uh, with a summary judgment on fair notice. Now, I did look that up. So let's go to here. To Wikipedia, what a summary judgment is in law. A summary judgment, also a judgment as a matter of law or summary dis, uh, disposition, is a judgment entered in, uh, entered by a court for one party and against another party, sum, summary, <laughs> summarily, uh, i.e., without full trial. S uh, summary judgments may be issued on it, the merits of an, ent uh, an entire case or on discrete issues in that case. The formulation of a summary judgment standard is stated in somewhat different ways by courts in different jurisdictions. In the United States, the uh, presiding judge generally must find there is no genuine dispute as any material fact and the movant uh, is entitled uh, to judgment as a matter of law. In the United Kingdom, in England, Wales, the court rules for a party without a full trial when the claim uh, defence or issue has no real prospect of success and there are, uh, is no other compelling reason why judgment without trial should not be issued. So I'm assuming they're trying to close this matter as quickly as possible. Uh, Ripple's trying to do this with uh, the SEC. Um, Obviously, I'm going to keep monitoring what's happening there and uh, some interesting stuff that's happening with um, Ripple and we'll get into this. They um, So in regards to this, they've actually got an article here. Ripple appoints a former US treasurer to its board amid legal fight with the SEC. Now, that is a pretty smart move, I believe. So block, uh, blockchain startup Ripple said Tuesday that Rosie Rios, forgive me if I'm not saying that right, the 43rd treasurer of the United States would join its board of directors. Ripple also hired Christina Campbell, previously an executive to, uh, at, at fintech firms Green Dot and the Pay Near Me as its chief financial officer. The SEC has charged Ripple on two of its executives uh, with conducting an illegal securities offering, whatever it is. Uh, but they, I strongly believe they can't stop this because th there's a lot happening out there with regards to XRP. It's got so much push by the public. Um, everyone's backing it. Um, there've been there've been numerous uh, you know points during this case where Ripple has actually, you know, proven the SEC wrong and dismissed some uh, allegations there, which is fantastic. So let's have a look here. Blockchain startup Ripple said Tuesday it had appointed former US Treasurer Rosie Rios to its board as the company battles the lawsuit from the SEC. Ripple said Rios, the 43rd Treasurer of the US who served President Barack Obama, would join its board of directors while it has also hired Christina Campbell, previously an executive fintech firms Green Dot and Pay Near Me as its Chief Financial Officer. I've dedicated my career to financial inclusion and empowerment, which requires bringing new and innovative solutions to the to uh, state processes, Rio said in a statement. Ripple is the best examples of how to use cryptocurrency in its substantive and legitimate role to facilitate payments globally. That is incredible. Now, just quickly, while I'm on that, let's have a look here what else there is. Regarding Ripple, this is their website here. They have an insights page, which is incredible to read as well. Sorry, there's just so much to talk about uh, XRP. National Bank of Egypt and Lulu International Exchange connect through RippleNet to elevate remittance experience into Egypt. This just goes to show that this is actually happening out there. There is real world uses that banks and financial institutions are adopting the Ripple Network, which is incredible, and the XRP program, which is unbelievable. Today, we are excited to announce the partnership between National Bank of Egypt, NBE, the North African country's largest bank, through Ripple's global payments network, RippleNet. Unbelievable. NBE has connect, uh, connected with the UAE-based financial service provider Lulu International Exchange, part of Lulu Financial Group, to process cross-border payments from the United Arab Emirates to Egypt. That's awesome. With a large dis, uh, diaspora employed abroad in the Gulf, uh, in the Gulf states, including the UAE, Egypt received $24 billion in remittances in 2020 alone, making it one of the top five remittance recipients globally uh, after India, China, India. Sorry, China, Mexico, and the Philippines. Remittances are vital in, in countries that receive them, and these funds play a significant role in the country's gross domestic product. Money sent home to family and friends to help pay for a multitude of necessities, ranging from education to food to purchasing their own home uh, or starting their own businesses. 
Yet the inherent friction between the global current payments infrastructure causes cross-border remittances to be costly and slow. Through this partnership, NBE and Lulu Exchange look to elevate the cross-border remittances experience into Egypt to be cheaper, quicker and more reliable. Egypt ranks amongst the top five countries worldwide in terms of remittances received from its overseas uh, expatriate commun- uh, communities. Given the important role uh, remote remittances play in the Egyptian economy, the National Bank of Egypt is continuously aiming to develop and enhance the infrastructure which pertains to this line of businesses, said, there's his name, a uh, group of financial institutions, international financial services at MBE. So that is incredible. That is a great place to keep up to date with what's happening with uh, Ripple. Uh, let's just quickly go to um, the Twitter and I did post this video up. I'm not sure if it'll play it now. Let's have a look. Trans already left the state. Let's replay this. What do you think about cryptocurrency as a form of currency? Well, uh, I think the trans already left the station in terms of cryptocurrency. Uh, you may or may not know that I just joined the board of Ripple. And the reason why I chose to, to join that board, it's, in my opinion, one of the few cryptocurrency options out there that has a credible and legitimate use. So financial institutions use it to settle cross-border payments. What that was the former treasurer right there, um, um, obviously saying that the train has already left the station there, and um, obviously she's now working with Ripple, which is incredible. Let's have a look here. These are all the articles I've retweeted about that. Uh, there was an article on, oh sorry, just showing the institutions uh, on XRP that we're using uh, were going to be obviously assisted with this. Now there was a someone had a tweet up here. I'm just trying to have a look here. It is here. So check this out. You've got all the biggest banks in the world, the financial institutions in the world, including Australia. You've got Westpac and NAB, which are Australia's biggest banks, or part of the big four anyway. We've got Westpac, NAB, ANZ, uh, Commonwealth Bank. These are the big four here. Now, obviously, these are all the banks around the world. Check that out. That is unbelievable right there. So this, this is what I'm trying to say. If all these financial institutions get on board with XRP, it's going to be change the world of banking for sure. And uh, I strongly believe that uh, a settlement is going to take place with XRP and the SEC. They'll end up paying some some sort of a fine. Who knows what's going to happen there? Um, it's just a matter of keeping up to date there and uh, seeing how the 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 case actually plays out. Because it will once an announcement is made with XRP, it's going to dramatically affect the price of the actual project and the coin. It can go skywards. Who knows? I'm invested into it personally, and I love the project, and I'm going to keep, you know, averaging into this pro- into this coin as we go. Um, it is at a very good price today, and I will get into this now, just quickly. Where is my Internet Explorer here? Here we go. Sorry, Internet Explorer. I'm old school. Coin market cap. Let's refresh it today. Now it's sitting at 0.81 cents, so 81 cents USD. Uh, today, which is unbelievable, it was it, you know it's sitting at around a dollar today in Coin Spot. Let me have a look just to refresh that. You can see the difference there in AUD to USD. So dollar and eight. Let's have a look at Trading View today. I'll get up the chart so we can have a look at that. Now we can see here it's a bit hard to do on the phone. Let's see here. You can see what's happening here. It is on the down today, sitting at eighty cents USD. I mean, it just it drops and de- goes up and down. Obviously, pending news that outcome of, of from this trial and case, the entire market is down in the crypto market. But I don't see that as anything to panic about. Crypto is going to be here forever. It's not going anywhere. Um, you know, and XRP to me is going to be like you know one of these projects that's really going to revolutionise the financial industry. And uh, you know, if things go well with this case, which I'm sure it will. Um, you know, it's one of these coins that could really, you know, 10x pretty much, you know, so I'm really happy with that. Let's have a look at the one minute trading. I'm not sure if it's visible here. Here we go. So today in the last minute, you can see that it is on the up. It is fantastic to see that that chart there going on the up. As mentioned, when the last uh, crash, when I jumped on this and I bought the dip last time, it was, uh, you know, when you buy the dip, it goes down even further. But I did buy the dip uh, on the weekend because it was around 80 or 90 cents it got to AUD which is unbelievable I haven't seen it at that before so it has gone up since uh, last night which is unbelievable so that's where I bought it around this dip around uh, I'm not sure if you can see that around where we go uh, anyway anyway I bought it on the dip so that's basically it so it's great to see it's at the trading there it's on the up and I'm really happy to see that um, let's go have a look down further price change in the last 24 hours okay so it's down uh, 10% 
the the volume today trading volume is at 10 billion dollars so there's a lot of people buying into this and i believe a lot of institutions are buying ripple oh, sorry xrp um because of the dip so i'm not panicking about it everyone is buying on the dip here and you can see the trading volume is up 25.94 percent there that is unbelievable market cap it is what it is market dominance 2.63 percent market rank is number seven the market cap is sitting at 37 billion dollars a fully diluted market cap is 81 billion dollars so that is awesome let's have a look here the markets binance hoibi go global bit uh bit hum binance binance and kucoin so these are where you can actually buy it i'm not sure if they're still listed on binance or anything like that or coin market cap some exchanges have delisted it and pending the outcome of the case so xrp is one that i'm very bullish on i believe that it will seriously change the way financial institutions uh do banking and transactions around the world so that's why i love it um, i'm going in on it full steam ahead can't wait now i'll get into my portfolio today let's have a look here my watch list let's just get into this all right so cardano is down nine percent uh one dollar and seven seventy cents dogecoin is down nine percent at 40 cents aud xrp is down ten percent at a dollar and 46 a dollar and four cents sorry Great buying opportunity, I believe. Stella is down 5.91% at 40 cents. Theta is down to $7.14. I bought this at $14. Uh, uh, what do you do? Uh, VET is down 11%. Another great buying opportunity at 11 cents. Uh, Tron is down 15.76%. Shiba Inu is the only one that's green at the moment. I bought some more as well. Um, now I'm sitting at like 21 million tokens, so really happy about that. Uh, BTT down 14%. Uh, Theta Fuels down 14%. Telcoin, another one I love as well, uh, down 9.5%. HOT down 13.28%. Digibyte down 9.85%. Uh, Sia Coin down 16%. ANKR down 8%, 8.9%, sorry. VTHO down 12%. Reef is another one that I'm bullish on as well. It's down to 2 cents, it's down 15%. I like Reef. Win is down 15%. Safe Moon is down 23.7%. Ecom is down 10.6%. Electronium down 11%. Acropolis down 12%. Moonshot is up 12%. That is awesome to see. Uh, Safe Mars 22%. Bonfire, I love Bonfire. They had their AMA and uh, really positive stuff from their AMA this morning. I was half asleep when I watched it because they hold these things so early in the morning here in Australia. So I'm really liking Bonfire at the moment and uh, I've seen some good returns in this, so positive things to come uh, is, is down seven percent nft art finance is another one i love as well it's down 17 percent elongate is down 13.6 percent so that is my entire portfolio you can see right there uh let me know in the comments what you think and what you guys are bullish on at the moment um but xrp for me is the one that i am focusing on because i really believe this coin and this project and uh, if there's anything you you should invest in is something that you understand um, the real world benefits. I do the same thing with my, my stocks and my dividend stocks and I will be putting a video up as well on my dividend stocks because that has not stopped either and uh, that's one thing I will not stop either because it is very important to build that dividend portfolio. I invested another hundred and fifty dollars over the weekend so that is due to land in my US brokerage account as well so I'll be buying some dividend stocks uh, hopefully tonight. Uh, so when those funds clear so new york time all right so that's my update today xrp for me is the one that i love and i will be investing in really happy with that and uh you know as mentioned leave your comments below let me know your thoughts on xrp and uh we'll discuss it in the comments all right so stay safe if you're new to the channel please make sure you like the video and subscribe turn on that little bell notification and let's talk about xrp uh the one that i'm really bullish on all right stay safe out there peace bye